challenging you. Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Time for another battle. Um, using the same team as we have been using. And I'm really... I'm really wanting to get some use out of um, the Galarian Zapdos. I don't know if I really used him as much as I would like to. This is an interesting team. We've got the, the starters, but we also have uh, Sylveon, Glaceon, and Noivern. I'm not too worried about Glaceon. Um, <clears throat> I think Rotom's a pretty nice lead here. I can... Volt Switch pretty easily. Yeah, I think Volt Switch would be pretty nice. Um, and Nidoking King would be pretty good if we got a sub up. Um, Nidoking King, Nidoking King's been the MVP of the last few battles. Uh, Nidoking King's actually a really, really good Pokemon. A lot of people don't don't realize how good Nidoking King is. And especially, uh, it feels like now it's even better than what was in Gen 7 because of how the metagame is uh, set up and everything. Now, Veronica, who is going to be... Okay, this thing. Um, I'm okay with leading Rotom. This thing... Does this thing get freeze-dry? That's the only thing I could think that would be a problem. All right, I could easily Volt Switch here. And that's what I'll do. It's not going to do much because Glaceon has good special defense. Uh, but any chip damage is good damage. <clears throat> and Machamp can come in pretty easily. I don't think there's much Glaceon can do to my Machamp. There's the Freeze Dry. That, this is a pretty good switch then. And we're burnt, so we got the Guts boost. Um. Okay, so Sylveon could come in. I want to knock off here, though, just in case Sylveon comes in, or even Noivern comes in. <clears throat> It'd be nice to knock off their item. Pancake. I feel like it's Sylveon. No, that's that's the Noivern. Okay. Alright, we did a pretty good, nice knockoff right there. Did you not have an item? It did not have an item. Interesting. Um, and I think uh, it might be worth keeping Machamp alive, because it deals with um, Glaceon pretty well. And I've got a few things that, you know, could take out Glaceon, but... Yeah, I, I think... I think Machamp's the best thing for that. And I do have Bullet Punch, so it could be like a surprise knockout on Sylveon if we get good chip damage. Um, yeah, what else did it, would I even use? Um, yeah, Glaceon's kind of scary. I've got a few things that could handle it. Um, I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and throw a Volt Switch at this thing. It's going to be faster. Oh, well, it's going to switch out, so it doesn't matter. Alright, back into Veronica. Okay. Okay. I'll take the chip damage on this. Alright, um... So, this thing is faster... And I like the idea of going into it right now. We could go for a Thunderous Kick. Or a U-Turn. Um, there's a few things that could switch in on the Thunderous Kick. But I like the idea of... Actually, Brave Bird. Let's go Brave Bird. <clears throat> we'll lock ourselves into Brave Bird. Yeah. Uh, that... that, that... That deals with more things than going for Thunderous Kit, you know. Um, I do believe we might see Noivern. Um, we are Scarfed. Alright, Kurt. That's going to be this thing. Okay, we are Scarfed. Um, we are Scarfed. So let's see if we outspeed. Nice, alright. Scarf coming through. Scarf coming through. Oh no, we don't knock it out with one hit. We're gonna see a bounce. Okay, you know that's really easy to play around bounces. I don't, I don't really get why a lot of people use it because it's so easy to play around. Um, we just go into Rotom. 
Easy switch. Easy, easy switch. And here comes the bounce. That does so little. That does so little. Um, we can easily volt switch here again. Uh, this thing should be faster than me, so we have the slow volt switch. <clears throat> I think we'll see a switch instead, though. I think we'll see this thing go into Rillaboom. Roger Taylor. That sounds like a Rillaboom name. Yeah, there it is. Roger Taylor. What? Is that a reference to something? Now, notice it's not grassy terrain. So that's interesting. Um, let's get Nittle King in here. Nittle King time. Time for Nittle King. Nittle King. Um... Might be able to throw up a sub. Let's see, if, let's see if our opponent lets us get away with it. Grass pledge. Okay. Okay. That's going to break the sub, right? Yeah. Um, we are faster, so that's good information. Um, I'm just going to throw a sludge wave at you. I wanted that sub, but we're not going to be able to keep it. Just throw a sludge wave at Roger Taylor. It's gotta be a reference to something. Is that like a musician that I don't know about? A drummer of some band? Okay, I got okay, I gotta look this up. I gotta look this up. Roger Taylor. It is a musician. For what band? That's Queen. That's Queen. Um Jason Duke. We're going to have to swap into Rotom. Rotom's a really good, really good switch for, for almost anything. It really is. Yeah, that's Queen. That's a Queen's drummer. And we have this guy who's probably an actor, right? This guy's named after an actor. It probably played in some spy movie. Is that, is that, am I guessing that right? Am I guessing that right? What's this thing's name? I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Jason Duke. Jason Duke. Oh, it's a songwriter. Oh, there's a basketball. Wait. It's a songwriter. Okay, never mind. Some songwriter. Um. Your team all musician based? Anyway, I'm still in the driver's seat here. Because, you know, that's the good thing about having a pivot on your team. It keeps you in the driver's seat. And we just. Here comes Sylveon. Where's we'll Volt Switch out? Um, yeah, we'll get Nittle King out here. Look at this. This is, man, Nittle King's so great. I love Nittle King. You see the substitute? I'm going to try to get the substitute up. <clears throat> the thing that the substitute won't help us with, though, is the Noivern, because most Noivern run Boom Burst, and that's not going to work. Oh, no. Oh, I got red. That was a read. My opponent just read me. My opponent just read me right there. My opponent just read me and knew that I wanted that sub up. So just copy. You don't see copycat that often in competitive battling. <clears throat> That's interesting. Bite. You got bite, though. Why do you have Bite? And Bite, yeah, why are you running a physical attack on a Sylveon? That, that's no bueno. Doesn't work out very well. You, you should have used something like Psy Shock. I think Sylveon does get Psy Shock, I think. And that would have been way better than running Bite. Bite Bite's no good on uh, Sylveon. Really, if you're running Bite, like... If, if you're running a Pokemon that uses Bite, it's much better to get rid of that for Crunch. Because Bite's a terrible move. There's some Pokemon that can't learn Crunch, but they learn Bite. Just don't run Bite at that point, because it's not the best. Alright, sorry Jason Duke. Had to throw Sludge everywhere. 
Anyway, uh, well, who are we going to see next? Who are we going to see next? Kurt. All right, and we still have the sub, so. I'll just sludge wave. Sludge wave. Man, Nidoking's King's so great. This thing is, like, sweeping up. This thing's sweeping up. I've swept with this this uh, Nidoking King before. This thing has actually been better for sweeping on my team than Zapdos. I don't see my life orb. And now we just ice beam for the win. We're faster too. What is this Noivern set? What is this Noivern set? Slow. Man, Nidal King, listen guys, Nidal King. When I've used it, it's, it's a better sweeper than Zapdos. Maybe that's just the team combination that my opponent has. But yeah, Nidal King's amazing. Anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this battle. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.